Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hocus Pocus! When last we left Hocus, he was on a wizard moon base, on level 8 of Chapter 1. There are... only, um... six more crystals to grab, and a key. I can actually pull this lever. It will do nothing. But I might go back and use that, uh... silver key there. Let's see if I can find more awesome crystals and or gems, and not death. Although, uh, our friendly wizard that's helping us out, or rather mocking us, seems to think we'll find death. He's wrong, of oh. And what do you know? Here's something to zap. Zap. And zap. And you're dead. Hooray! Crystal number three. Ooh. Ah. I need to get even more keys. I get the feeling this level is going to have a lot of backtracking. Is that I travel all the way back to this area to go open another key to go get another crystal. However, I can zap really fast now. Which is good. We always want to zap quickly. Okay. Careful jumping. Careful jumping. Things to zap. Really quickly now, with my exceptional zapping power. Well, happy that missed me. There seems to be a puzzle here. There we go! Sorted. Hmm. Why have they given me this? I'll take it! I'm curious as to why they've... Ah, that's why they've given it to me! Zap the aliens! And then I zapped them. Ah, oh, there's our helpful wizard friend. That was sneaky. Throwing a trap there like that. That was sneaky. Also, we can go up here for no reason whatsoever. I wonder what this one does. Eh, nothing it would seem. Unless I pull it a few times. Nope, does nothing. Sometimes those things will have other uses when you uh, pull them more than once. Sometimes, I imagine later, if memory serves, they will just trigger traps if you pull them multiple times. Don't think I want to be doing that just now. I want to be finishing episode one and moving on to episode two. Come along, Hocus. Ah! And then enemies. <laughs> ah, this one... Oh, that's a lot of switches. Hmm, okay, let's, let's push them all up first. Okay, it's not that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Is it this? Ah! Solution! And here's a... More things for me to zap. And another one of these puzzles. Nope. 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 Remember when I said that this game loves Switch puzzles? Weren't lying. They really like their Switch puzzles. They really like them. So if we pull both of these down... Aha! Another one. I bet there's a... Hello. You'll need seven crystals before you use the warp potion. I'm giving you this hint, implying that you won't be able to come back if you use the potion. Look, I'm being nice, okay? I thought I'd throw you a bone. Obviously, you don't want that because you're just flicking the switches randomly. There's an order to this! Oh. Well, you did it anyway. You're going to zap me now, aren't you? Zap! Let's go! So, this is where the final one is. Let's go zap some things. There's something to zap down here, is there? It's all up there. Okay. Yep. So, we're on the final level, the final stretch of this episode. Except the boss level. That's not really a full level, per se. Boss levels in Hocus Pocus are interesting. Full of very large enemies that are usually very difficult to avoid. And my uh, shooting power has run out, purely because I spent two... Hmm. Okay. Nothing to shoot on these ones? No? How many times am I going to have to jump? Is this an unlimited cycle? But no. No, it isn't. There's the exit. Let's use it. Excellent. Now, we're on to level 9. Which will have enemies in it. Here's our helpful uh, wizard friend as we save. 
even if it only saves at the beginning of the level, I'd really like that save. Hello. These castle walls are guarded by the seven mad monks of Melanoir. Never touch one. Probably because you'll die. No, seriously, you will die. Binglewort touched one, you know. He screamed for hours. Even after he was dead. But seriously, don't touch one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. there's one. Hello. Oh. Okay, these guys aren't that tough. Oh, no, no. He's firing more of them. Some of them... Oh, there's a pattern to it. One, one, two... No! There's just no pattern to it at all. Actually, there probably is a pattern. Oh! Or does he just fire them entirely? Oh! At random. Okay, so there are seven of you. Oh, one of you has nearly killed me. One of you has... Oh! And there are normal enemies too! Oh, I hope there are health pickups on this level. Oh! I also hope I don't fall for that again on the next ledge. I'm on 16% health. Yep. 16% health after one monk. There are six more. Fortunately, there's also a zappy power up here. Because there are more enemies. I'm amazed there are actually more enemies. I remember the very last level, there not really being any enemies despite... Apart from the uh, final boss himself. Forgot that this level actually had more enemies. Gonna have to play very carefully. I see health power-ups up here though. So I have to risk it. I have to risk the health power-ups. So it would seem that the mad monks are... Okay, the health power-ups are being protected by a key. My money is that key is being guarded by one of the mad monks that lives on a wizard moon base. Darn you monks and your moon bases. However, zap power up. Ooh, there's a trap here. Oh! Very clever. Very clever. Very clever. Have to concede that. I wonder if you could walk past him. I wonder if you could walk past him. Shall we find out? We shall find out. Oh! On the one hand, walking past him was not a good idea. However, that one only hit me twice. There we go. So we seem getting close to them is generally the hint to dealing with them. If you get really close to them, they can only hurt you a little. Good thing there's uh, seven of them. Because I've just killed two. That's much better. Every boss has his strategies. And mine was just walking right up to him and taking hits. There's probably a far more elegant solution. But at the moment I'm doing okay with the inelegant solution. Also there's no reason going that way yet. Because I don't have the key. So you got zapped by him, did you? I knew you'd die someday, Hocus. Okay, let's be careful. Because of the aliens. Always with the aliens. More of them? Yep, more aliens. And more destructible uh, terrain down there. There is a lot of warp potions up there. Oh, ow. I wonder what's in here that is worth zapping all of this. Let's find out, shall we? Ooh. Okay. Is there another one of these? Ah. There's gonna be a switch puzzle, isn't there? Okay. Try this. Nope. And that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll figure it out eventually. Unless there's more down. There's healing potions down here. I'll take that. Hmm. 
What haven't I done yet? I haven't done combinations with that one just up. Okay, there is a way to this, and I always think I'll remember how to actually do it. And then I always forget. I always forget. There we go! Oh look, there's another monk. He's really unimpressed that we're here. Look at him! Arms folded like that, he's like, Oh, someone has invaded our sacred moon wizard base. We really should have kept that more well guarded than we have. Oh well. I'll just hold my arms out and fire stars at him. Eventually they'll kill him. What do you mean you killed the other two brothers? Don't worry, there's more of us where that came from. Really, there's like four more of us. Also, there's that key you were wanting. Good, we have the key! Uh, and we have to go this way. Let's go this way. Why not? Killed three of them right now, so what's killing another four? Probably quite difficult. My platforming skills have never been that good. But hopefully I'll be able to improve with this game. Or just not fail. If we fail, it's that wizard's fault. I'll blame him if you will. Five potions you may see. Only one means victory. Hmm. Well, I don't trust any of these, so I'll grab the end one. Clever. Drops me in the spikes. Okay! Fortunately, you only get hit once by those spikes, it still hurts. Let's grab the second one. No particular rhyme or re- Dropped in the spikes again, eh? You could just tell me which one it is. That would be helpful. If you told me which one it was, I could actually not die? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Grab the third one, that's definitely going to be it. Meh. Totally wasn't that one. It's obviously going to be the last one you pick. <laughs> An old wizard joke, that one. <laughs> Seriously, um, don't, don't fail. Grab the fourth one. Hey, it was the fourth one! That's handy. I'm on 32% health. The advantage is it will always be that one. Hooray a key! Hooray a warp! Where's it gonna take me? Oh, it's gonna bring me here. That's good. Because I need that health. I need a lot of health. Also, there are things for me to zap here. Oh! Careful. Don't want to get hit by any of these. If I get hit by any of these, I'm pretty much in trouble. I'm already in trouble as it is. I'm on 32% health. And I've still got to defeat, what, three more wizards? Or monks? Are they wizard monks, or are they just monks? I mean, that's a lot of, st of stats that you need to be to be a wizard monk. I mean, the only stat that uh, wizards, that uh, monks don't need, really, is the intelligence stat. Okay, that's health power-ups. At least they're giving us health power-ups. There's a lot of them over here. Well, we need to get two more crystals. And I wager... Oh, oh! Oh, that's sneaky. That's sneaky. You spawned enemies behind me. Alright, we're just going to zap you. Some rapid zapping, and dead. Do I want to explore the other way too? Because we have killed four of them. Oh, why not? Oh, that's why not. Ow! That's health I really can't afford to lose. That does nothing. Oh, it's a multiple area switch puzzle. Whoa! I think we might call it here for the video. And when we come back, folks, we should continue the boss level. The level with bosses in it. Oh, another monk. Well, these guys are um trying their hardest to kill me. Perhaps if you tried moving. Moving might help. Nope, would seem not. So when we come back, folks, we have to solve this switch puzzle. And then hopefully there won't be many more monks to kill. I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later. You monks and your switch puzzles on your wizard moon bases. When will you ever learn?